In today's video, I'm going to be showing how I did this really fun and cool Spider-Man nail design. I will be honest that I am not an Avengers or Marvel fan. I just thought this would be a fun design to do. So, I'm going to start off by attaching some red and blue crystals to what would be the pinky nail. If you are doing this on your actual nails, I would definitely recommend using some nail glue to attach the crystals for a longer wear. Next, I'm going to be doing a blue and red ombre spider web. And I'm going to be doing this with a stamp. Feel free to freehand this if you prefer. And then, because the nail was long, I ended up having to do this twice. And this design, I actually was trying out multiple different techniques with these fake nails because I wanted to see if you could do stamping. And I also wanted to see um, about liquid latex. And both worked perfectly fine. So that was kind of like a trial and error experiment. Next, I'm going to be drawing on Spider-Man's shirt, I think. And while that was drying, I added some liquid latex to do a French tip, and I let that dry. Next up is going to be to freehand Spider-Man's face. And the best way to describe the shape of Spider-Man's head is to do an upside-down, like, egg shape. And I will be honest that I was really concerned that I was going to accidentally mess this up. And it turned out really, really good, and I was really, really proud of this. And, um... If you have a hard time freehanding, I would highly recommend making a decal for your dominant hand. And then I'm going to be stump stamping on a black spider into the middle of his shirt. And then I'm going to be taking black polish and freehanding a spider web on the egg shape here. And this I should have done with acrylic paint because the black polish did start, did start to dry on me. And it did make it a little bit difficult. So I would highly recommend to do this part using acrylic paint, but it worked out perfectly fine. I just took my, I just took a long time to do this because I wanted this to be as perfect as I could possibly make it. So like I said, if you want to do this design or any design and you want it to be the same on both your nails or both your hands, I would definitely recommend doing details like this using, um, the method of making a nail decal that way when you go to do it for your non your dominant hand actually it'll be easy and it'll look pretty much similar to what is on your non-dominant hand that's usually what I end up doing when I want um, the same design on both hands and I'm not comfortable freehanding something next I'm going to add spider-man's eyeballs using a dotting tool and the white polish and I just did what kind of looked like the shape of a like lemon wedge and then I used a detail brush to add in the black eye black um, outline of his eye and I did that for both eyes and then I'm just going to do some touch up and then I'm going to be doing an ombre French tip using red and blue and I'm going to be sponging this on to the fake nail. This is where I wanted to see if you could use liquid latex on a fake nail to block off part of the nail. I was curious and it actually worked really really well and I was really surprised by this and I was actually really happy with that as well because that gives me a lot of opportunities with nail designs that I want to do in the future and it just peeled off super easily. And then I'm going to be stamping a black spider on again in the middle of that ombre nail to put in as many spiders as I could into this design. And then these are the polishes that I used. Everything I used will be linked in the description box below. And then lastly, I'm just going to go ahead and top coat. Now, for some reason, I did not top coat Spider-Man's head on camera, I don't think. Um... But when you're top coating over a design like this, you really want to float the top coat over it after letting your nail polish dry as long as you possibly can because that will prevent it from smearing, especially with red.